Wanted is one of those films where I'm kind of on the fence about how I felt about it because I enjoyed watching it but then on reflection when I try and say well I like this or I like this I can't really pinpoint anything specific. I think maybe I like the tone of it. Now I'm not the biggest action fan I need to say that but the casting here is so ridiculously amazing that I, I knew I'd like at least bits of it and I actually did enjoy the narrative at the end. I kind of liked the way it progressed and liked the narrative it presented and thought it was pretty decent. So this one was released in 2008, directed by Timur Bekmanbetov. Sincerely apologise if I've ruined that. And the cast is just ridiculous. So we have Angelina Jolie as Fox. That's the reason I watched this film. I love Jolie, absolutely love her. We have James McAvoy, Morgan Freeman and Terrence Stamp. Such fantastic casting that even if the narrative had been dire, even if the story had been dull, I still would have been able to continue watching it because I want I enjoy watching these people work. Um particularly when we have Jolie and Freeman on screen together. Those moments for me are fabulous because I just you know, I adore both of their acting styles and I think they're brilliant. The narrative itself I will read the description from IMDB and this is as follows. A frustrated office worker discovers that he is the son of a professional assassin and he shares his father's superhuman killing abilities. I like the idea that he kind of discovers that he's the son of an assassin. And the reason I like that is from a, more so from a psychological an- analysis perspective. Because I guess if you grew up knowing you were the son of an assassin, you'd automatically inherit a lot of those traits by you know, observation and, um, rather than biology. So it's a pretty interesting way of approaching this narrative and in that sense I thought the character was really quite interesting. The narrative as it develops is not my favourite kind of narrative. I'm not that bothered about assassin films. I never have been, I never will be, not a fault of the film. But the actual events progressed really well and I found that the situations were believable for what was happening. The character responses were also understandable and realistic enough that I kind of was invested a little bit in what was happening and I felt like this could well I felt it could be if it could be a real situation which is obviously a bit terrifying when we're dealing with assassins. For me as an action novice uh, in fact complete amateur let's go with that it was interesting I liked the pacing it was quite quick very fast in terms of the duration, it's an hour and 50 minutes, so it's quite long. I wouldn't say that it flew by. There were some moments where I wasn't as invested in it as I could be. But that never lasted for very long. My interest was reinstated pretty quickly. I also think it's got... The lighting has got it's quite good. You know, there are some scenes that are quite brightly lit. And there are some scenes that are quite dark and foreboding. And a lot of action films, at least the ones I've seen, and maybe this is why I'm not the biggest fan of them... They're dark all the way through. They're filmed either mostly night scenes or they're in dark and dingy locations. This one actually has a really good mix of bright open spaces, brightly lit rooms, and then of course the obligatory dark areas. And I think the balance there works well and appeals to me more than the average action film. Would I recommend it? Of course I would if you are into this kind of film. I would say if you don't really like action films, And there's nothing about this that's jumping out at you if you're not a fan of the cast. First of all, why not? But if you're not a fan of the cast or um, there's nothing about it that kind of draws you in, I'm not going to say it's a film that you need to see before you die. That's absolutely, you know, it's not that good for me. It's not absolutely perfect. But if there's something there pulling you in, I'd say give it a go. There's a pretty good chance you're going to enjoy it. 